Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I have to wear face masks at work and they gave us these to wear. Um, I don't really think they do anything, but um, the military is saying that you have to uh, have to wear a mask if you work on base and I'm a contractor. So they passed these out yesterday. I just ran to the store, or not to the store, to uh, uh, the post office because I had to sign for a package. And uh, we're gonna open it up real quick. It's not a car part. It is a car related cool thing. Well, you already know. You've seen the title. I've been wanting to drag you for a very long time. And of course, during this quarantine, you get bored, buy things you probably shouldn't spend money on. So, whatever. I was going to buy it eventually anyway. But, we got the draggy. Of course, I got a shirt. Figured might as well while I'm on the site. We got uh, 1820 on the front. Boom. And they have one of these for muscle cars too. But uh, I thought it was pretty dope. Street car checklist. I got everything with the with the parachute, I guess. Uh, bank account definitely ain't empty, but uh, it's a dope shirt. I thought. All right, now for our main box here. We got the draggy. Boom. For you guys who don't know what this is, which probably won't be many of you, this is like a really accurate GPS guy that you stick in your car, right? And it connects to your phone. See, I got the 1320 edition. And uh, it gives you like super duper accurate times. Zero to 60, zero to 100, 60 to 120, like whatever you want to do. But more, most notably, um, it, it's quarter mile um, times are like extremely accurate, like stupid. Like the all the big cars out there, um, like seven second GTRs and the Huracans and all that, they use these and they're like spot on. If anything, it's like point zero one slower than the actual um, trees at the drag strip. So I decided to get one since the drag strips are closed and stuff. I know you guys want to see numbers. So here it is. I'm about to go to work. I've got to leave here in literally three minutes, but I just wanted to unbox it real quick. I'm gonna stick it on the charger that way tomorrow or sometime this weekend. Hopefully if it's not raining. We got weird weather coming in. It was like 80s all week. Today's high is like 52. It's supposed to snow on Tuesday. Shit don't make no sense, but yeah, here it is. Pretty dope. I'll drop a link in the description. If you're thinking about getting one, they're like $150, though. Even through $13.20, all you get is a special sticker, but I wanted a shirt anyway. And it does come with, I believe, a charge cable. Yeah, charge cable. And then magnets that's sticky. So you can stick this on your dash. I'm going to stick it inside my, uh, see, it sticks to this. It's got a good, I'm going to stick it inside my armrest. So up against, that way when it's in there, I can run the charger out the top of the armrest into the cigarette lighter thing and be able to charge it in the car. So figured it was a good hidden spot. I don't want to see see it. I also don't don't want it to go flying. And if it does just so happen to come loose off the magnet, it ain't gonna go nowhere in the glove or in, or in the armrest. So nice. Oh, and one more thing. Hopefully we can get it to work because there's an app on your phone, obviously, and then. Um, it has its own video mode and it'll overlay all the times over top of your video. So hopefully we can get some cool, cool stuff. We'll see how it turns out in this video. But uh, in the next clip, it'll probably be tomorrow and this thing will be charged up with the app on my phone and we'll go out and, and give her a rip. Him and uh, just see how it improves. It improves 
I'm very curious as to uh, how well it'll do. I mean, the best I've ever done, I think, was a 12 3 at 115 or 16, and that was when I was on the IS 38 uh, with United Motorsport. So now we have we've had a ton of mods since then, a different tuner, uh, upgraded fueling, upgraded turbo, upgraded. No, I was on this clutch though, actually, and uh, we've a bunch of weight.
you'll see progress on the rest of this video. I'm gonna change shoes, send him the logs, see what he has to say and to change. I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Well, this has been a whole process. Started this video last Friday. Uh, got some logs in, all that. Didn't get the best runs. I think the best I got was a 12.08 um, at 117. But that was with the fuel that was in the car when I was doing those runs with the GoPro. I went back and looked at the logs. I was having um, timing pull up to 10 degrees, minus 10. That's very, very, very not good. So after that, I kind of freaked out, sent that shit to Frank, and I went, I was like, well, the only thing I can think of is that my plugs are brand new. There's not even 300 miles on these, these NGKs yet. And uh, I know with this whole COVID shit going on and gas prices dropping, the quality of fuel has been dropping as well. So that's the only thing I could think of is fuel. So I went and grabbed some E85 from my buddy. Um, I put like three and a half, four gallons in. Uh, let that run through the system. Went out and did some logs. Zero timing pool. So good to go there. I um, only had one race that night and I set up the draggy, but it messed up because I'm an idiot. I'm still new with it. I'll probably mess it up later again in this video. Anyway, so the weekend passes. I didn't do anything Saturday night or Sunday car related, chasing women, it's fun. <laughs> Takes up a lot of time, but, um, so then Monday and Tuesday, Monday it got down to like 19 degrees. We got like seven inches of snow. Tuesday was just as cold. Wednesday, it started to warm up a little bit. And today's Thursday, it's back up to like almost 80. It's been a crazy week. So it's been too wet, too cold to go out and do stuff during the week. But today we'll do it. Um, Frank just sent me another, well he sent this to me the other day, but it's been raining and shit. Um, so I'm going to go flash this new tune, hopefully the launch control will be a little bit better and we can get at least into the 11s um, on the street with just a little bit of E in the tank. Um, I'd be happy with that. And then the track, it should be a little bit better, maybe. Um, maybe, I mean hopefully the launch control is set now and then I can just, I can just be good to go. But. At this altitude and this fuel, there's not really too many options I can do for power. If I was at sea level, with say like 93 mixed with the 85, like I'm pretty sure this car would run a decent mid 11. But hopefully we'll find out this summer when we go to like San Diego or Dallas or something. But anyway, I'm gonna go flash this tune. We'll get the GoPro set back up and uh, see what we run. All right, guys, here we are. Got the right shoes this time. Got the latest tune in from Frank. Um, yeah, the altitude right now is 6,935 feet. It sucks, but we got to deal with it. We got 91 in the tank, a little bit of E85, and uh, we'll see what she does. Hopefully this launch, launch control is a little bit better now, a little more aggressive. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't miss a gear. And if I do, we'll be, we'll be here for a while. Fucking ruin minus 
last attempt before I go home and start playing with my shifter. This video it was a lot of clips a lot of missed shifts um, I did go home after the Sun went down and my shift linkage was uh, slightly loose like the main nut so I tightened that 13 mil down a little bit went out got a couple runs so this is the official draggy report on my best run boom you can see here 1203 and 118 not absolutely terrible for, um, let's see there, 6608, static altitude, 42, well that's not right. My altitude is like 4260, not 426. Anyway, and 70 degrees out. Had a slight slope, but uh, it's all there. Now if you look at, now if you look at this, now this is just like some beta, you know, bull crap, whatever. I put in my numbers, density altitude, my time. This is what it could potentially be at sea level. 1157 at 123. 
Um, who knows? On full E85 with, you know, like sea level altitude, it would be a lot better. Like it'd be a ton better. And it's a manual car. I'm not making excuses here. I'm just saying, because I know there's going to people on the comment. Oh, my buddy went blah, 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 and this and that. Like, all right. This is me. This is who I am. I'm not lying. Proof is right there. 1203 is the best I got so far. I ran out of fuel. That last run, I literally, like, had zero fuel left. I had to go run and put more crappy, just 91 in the car. I, I had, like, an E20 blend, maybe, like, just to get rid of the null, because, like I said earlier, the fuel right now is just terribly shitty i don't know what what is up but um yeah once the tracks open up i'll be out i'll go out to an actual track day we'll get some real times at a real track um hopefully i can go on a cooler night you know it probably i mean at this point it'll be the end of summer to get a good run in you know when it's not blistering hot out and all the tracks near me are still like three thousand 400 static altitude and then you know during the day or once the sun's going down the, the da is still like 8,000 something so unless the tracks open up in the next couple of weeks which i highly doubt we're not going to get a solid run so until then we got the draggy it's a cool little tool they're supposed to be pretty freaking accurate and especially from what i've seen from like you know seven eight nine second cars it's like pretty much dead on so let me know what you think if you guys got a draggy, let me know what your times are down below. I'm curious. I'd be, uh, I need to go on here and search through the leader leaderboards and see who has what. But it was definitely fun. It was a fun little video. I wish it would have been out earlier in the week. Like I said, we got snow. So I don't know what's going on this weekend. Hopefully I'll find something interesting. I have some parts coming. Um, I won't talk about the hard parts, but we do have fluids coming. I got front diff, rear diff. Haldex and trans fluid coming all from shop dap and a special tool that I want to talk to you guys about I got from them as well. So we'll be looking at doing that and uh, Probably be ordering a uh, torque bike soon as well with my uh, COVID check <laughs> Let me know what you guys are getting with your COVID check as well. I pretty much Already have my all 1200 planned out on parts. So All right, that's all I got Questions comments concerns drop below also drop a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.